What's up guys, today I'm gonna to teach you guys how you can create this sick particle logo flash effect in the beginning of your video. Let's go. My name is Evan Wynn, welcome to 11% Tutorials. As I mentioned, today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys how you can create this quick particle effect in After Effects. It's overall, really simple to recreate and it's just a dope way to add some cool effects to your logos and intros in your videos. This effect was using the So Fake Oh Hell Yeah video directed by Decline Kyle and it's just an overall really sick effect to just show the Cactus Jack record label. All you'll be needing today is After Effects, no plugins at all required. But before we get started, if you guys are looking to spice up your music videos even more, definitely make sure to check out our preset store at 11%.net. There we are seriously spilling all the sauce on just how to take your music video game to the next level. We have preset packs ranging from artificial camera shake all the way to 3D chrome assets. It's literally insane there. I use your presets all the time for my music videos and it saves me so much time. I'm serious. And thank you guys for clicking on this video and smashing the like button. Of course you smash the like button. I'm gonna be giving you guys this exclusive promo code right here so you can get an exclusive 40% off your first purchase. 40% guys, you're basically robbing me. Yeah, definitely make sure to check our store at 11%.net. Without further ado, let's jump right into the tutorial. All right, guys so now that we're inside of after effects the first thing that we're going to do is obviously have your clip loaded out best works with the drone shot i don't know i just seen you know better results and also preferably if your footage is a lot darker just so that we can emphasize the glow of the logo the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to come over here to your tracker make sure you're selected on your clip and hit track camera now after effects is going to load it's going to do its thing one thing to make sure to do is go to your composition and then hit composition settings and make sure that your width and height of the composition settings are exactly the same as your video clip. That way there's just no errors with the tracking because if your video clip is a different dimension than your composition settings, we're gonna have a problem. Once After Effects is finished tracking, you're gonna get a bunch of what I like to call the 3D flowers and you're gonna see this nice little target that's gonna appear on some surfaces. So try to find a target surface that kind of matches the best perspective of the shot. So right here, this kind of like chimney is kind of cool. It's a good perspective and it seems like it follows the tracking pretty well. So I'm gonna right click it and I'm gonna hit create solid and camera. Now we have a nice camera and we have a solid icon right here, a nice blue solid. So once you play this out, you can see that this blue solid is tracked to the chimney and it looks as if it's actually in the video. Um, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hold shift and scale up this square so that it's like really big now. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click this solid and we are going to pre-compose it and you're gonna call this logo. Hit okay and now we have a pre-composed solid. What are we gonna do? Double click the pre-comp and we're inside of this pre-comp of this of the solid. We can delete this blue square because we obviously don't need it. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back to my project and make sure you have a very high quality version of your logo or whatever you wanna make. Um, I'm just gonna turn on our transparency to see it. So I have this very high quality image of the Cactus Jack logo. And one important thing to note is make sure you have a lot of space and edge room around the logo, just so there's no clipping with the particles. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our effects and presets and we're gonna search for ball action. CC ball action, we're gonna drag and apply this right here, boom. Now what we're gonna do is we are going to start adding some keyframes. So I'm gonna hit the drop down on the effects and the drop down ball action. And I'm gonna come like maybe almost two seconds in and I'm gonna set a keyframe of the scatter at zero. And then uh, all the way at the very beginning, I'm just gonna increase the scatter up to like 30 or 40. So then that way we have these particles and they kind of just like zoom together so the fact that we're going for this honestly works pretty well if you would like to add some nice like easy in keyframes you can of course right click the keyframe and hit easy ease if you want just a better like smoother animation so there you go that's kind of a nice little smooth particle animation uh depending on your logo this size right here this grid spacing honestly works perfect for what we're trying to do but if your logo is bigger or smaller you can of course just increase the grid size to um, increase or decrease the amount of particles and um, there we go. There we pretty much have a basic solid effect. Then we're gonna go and we're gonna search for fill. And I'm just gonna drag this fill right here to our logo. And I'm just gonna change this to a nice like green just to match the, the video. Actually, I'm gonna change it to white. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna search for glow. You can just use basic After Effects glow. I'm gonna increase the radius and intensity. I might go back and change the fill to just a nice lighter green so we can kind of see what's going on. And there we go. Now we have a nice little glow going on and the animation is pretty smooth. And it's looking pretty good overall. And now lastly, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a nice little keyframe at this glow right here, just so that it gets a little bit brighter when all the, the particles come into place. So it just like, boom. We're gonna hit a keyframe at the glow intensity right before they all 
unionize and then I'm gonna go a couple frames after. I'm just gonna increase the intensity a bunch and there we go. Now we have a nice little glow action animation. Now that we go back to our original composition, you can see our logo is now tracked to our chimney. It does feel a little bit off because it's, it feels like it, the perspective is like directly on the chimney. So I might just scale this up, maybe scale it down a bit, add some rotation, just mess around with it until it fits your clip to your liking. And, and now once we play that out, you can see we have a sick particle animation going on right here. And one last thing, if you just wanna add even more glow to this, you can just apply another glow to this entire pre-comp. And then you can of course just go ahead and mess around with the intensities. Once again, when the, the glow, all the particles come together and I'm going to hit a keyframe at the glow intensity and I'm just gonna go a couple frames before and I'm just going to decrease that intensity all the way down to about zero so we just have the original glow and then once it all comes together you can see we have that nice sick glow and with that guys that is pretty much the effect and sorry one last effect that we have to add i'm going to come back to my effects and presets and i'm going to search for like and subscribe oh oh apparently that's not an effect oh it's Oh, it's, it's in the video. So if you just hit the button on the video below and it just hits like and subscribe, it really mean a lot to me, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I had to pull that one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If you guys made it to the end of the video, I just want to say thank you again so much for watching. I hope at the end of this, you have an effect that you can walk away with and use for your music videos. And also remember, if you're interested in checking out our store at 11percent.net, we're spilling all the sauce there and we're continuously dropping preset packs there for music videos and to just help speed up your editing workflow. So if you want to be able to save that sweet, precious time and also charge your clients more for your videos, definitely make sure to check out 11percent.net. If you found this video interesting, please be sure to smash the like button, hit subscribe, and also you can join our Discord server. We're always throwing fun game nights and competitions there. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.